one should underestimate the size of the task in front of us to bring parity between first Australians and other Australians. I was 10 years old in 1967 when the referendum took place, finally seen as a person. I have worked in the First Nations space for 39 years. Some of the issues that existed 39 years ago still exist today. The gaps are no different. Some have improved, um, but there is also many, many issues to still address as is outlined, particularly in terms of incarceration rates, not only of adult Aboriginal people, but also young, young children and, uh, and teenagers. In fact, it has gotten worse. There has been spectacular failure in many ways when we come to closing the gap in relation to First Australians. At the outset, as Anthony said, Labor welcomes the new targets and very much welcomes the partnership approach based on the notion of self-determination with the coalition of peak organisations. I am a little disappointed, but I understand there is work continuing on establishing a target to uh, address the issue of domestic violence. I understand the logic behind the fact that there is no target there at the moment, but there is going to be. I'm very pleased that some of the targets go to First People's relationship with land, with water and with culture, in particular language. What is required now is leadership, innovation, action and a real sense of urgency and critically funding and commitment from all levels of government. Housing is absolutely critical and the need is massive, especially in remote communities where clean water and affordable food is not available to many people living in those places. It is also important to assert that mainstream organisations, schools, hospitals, judicial systems, community services, recognise they retain a responsibility. Many First Nations people do not have access or use Aboriginal community-based organisations. It is a complex issue. Can I finalise my comments by reiterating what our leader has said? Has said? Labor will commit ourselves to these targets, but they must be balanced by, they must be backed by money. I'll start that again. Labor will commit ourselves to these targets, but they must be backed by money, action and accountability. Targets are only part of the story. As our leader has said, we are also committed to the Uluru Statement in its entirety, including truth-telling, including treaty-making and a constitutionally enshrined voice to the Parliament. Thank you.